What's going on guys, Posama here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a top 5 list on my most anticipated first party Nintendo Switch games. So let's get into it. So the Nintendo Switch has easily became one of my favorite game systems of all time. I can play amazing games like Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, and Smash Bros on the go. And I know Smash Bros was portable on 3DS, but not at the quality that we have at the moment. So it's a new year for Nintendo and most likely a big year for them too. The way this list will work is confirmed first party games coming out this year. This list can change, but as of January 7th, the time this video should be uploaded, these are my opinions. Alright, that's the rules, so let's get into this top 5. Okay, I am cheating a little bit here, but I believe there will be a Legend of Zelda game this year because if they're trying to get a Legend of Zelda game every year, they're kind of keeping up with that schedule with Breath of the Wild in 2017, Hyrule Warriors in 2018, and in 2019 could be a possible port or a remaster like Skyward Sword, but I believe it will most likely be a port for the Wind Waker HD on Wii U or Twilight Princess on Wii U. Sh maybe even both. It will be pretty easy to port because both games are compatible with Pro Controllers. I'm excited to see what we get this year. Alright, alright, alright. Before you write your hate comments saying how stupid I am or how much of a piece of shit I am because how low I put Animal Crossing, listen. I haven't ever really played a Animal Crossing. I played a tiny bit on the GameCube and I lost my DS copy and I didn't really get to play it that much. But everyone tells me how much they love the series. My Animal Crossing is the best. If you disrespect it, I'm a beat your ass on baby and Bobby. John, what the number four on your top five list? I'm a beat you up. And it's coming to Switch this year, which makes me very excited to finally try it out. And who knows? When I buy the game and play it, when the next one comes out, it might be at my number one. You never know. Okay, so this is a new RPG that Game Freak, the creators of Pokemon, are making, and it looks really interesting to me. And I personally really like the art style and the coloring of it. I'm always up for RPGs, so this game looks good so far. And it's good that Game Freak is trying something else than Pokemon, and I can't wait to try it later this year. So yes, I am really hyped to be playing a new gen of Pokemon, and yes, my opinions have changed a little about Pokemon Let's Go, because the post-game content. But here's something I don't want to see return from Pokemon Let's Go. Motion controls, no Pokemon Go mechanics, more than one controller, the bad online, the Let's Go Park, the pay to actually finish the f***ing Pokedex properly. Game Freak, do not do this, but I would like to see the Pokemon walking around to return, but besides that thing in Pokemon Let's Go, I am happy to be part of another gen in the Pokemon series. Okay, okay, listen, I love Luigi's Mansion, alright? I still have my original copy on the GameCube. I had Dark Moon, but I have no idea what happened to it. But when I heard Luigi's Mansion 3 was coming out on the Direct, I low-key shed it a tear. Uh. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> No, bro! Oh my god! Luigi's Mansion 3! <laughs> Come on, 2019. Come on. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm crying. <laughs> I can't wait to see this new design of this hotel type area and see what Nintendo does differently and do right. Well, that's my top 5 anticipated first party games for the Nintendo Switch. Let me know in the comments below what's yours. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe and share with your friends. And thanks for watching. See ya.
Bought the drop a bomb on Osama Bin Laden Money look like I got Pokeballs in my pocket Blast off on it, young team rocket Country music star, pull up on her like, howdy She said, wow, we just like, now we took it out like a